Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss about elastic collision in one dimension. See, students, we have we see uh, two bodies, mass one and mass two. They are uh, traveling with velocities u one and u two. They just go and collide. After the collision, they go with the velocities v one and v two. So this is before collision and this is after collision. And we know for elastic collision. both momentum and kinetic energy both are conserved so if you write the equations for momentum conservations and kinetic energy conservation we can get the values for final velocities now let us write momentum conservation equation so momentum before collision will be m1 u1 plus m2 u2 will be equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 we take mass 1 on one side m1 u1 minus m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 and we take this the other side minus m2 u2 and you can call this equation 1 and i can take m1 commonly outside u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 also i can take commonly outside from rhs v2 minus u2 and this is equation 2 same manner we will write kinetic energy conservation equations also kinetic energy conservation we know the equation for kinetic energy before collision they have kinetic energies of m1 u1 squared plus of m2 u2 squared and after collision they have kinetic energies of m1 v1 squared plus of m2 v2 squared and you see half is common so you can you can cancel out and you can write m1 u1 squared plus m2 u2 squared which is equal to m1 v1 squared plus m2 v2 squared in the same manner you can write mass 1 on one side like how you did in momentum conservation you can write mass 1 on one side so minus m1 v1 squared and mass 2 on other side m2 v2 squared minus m2 u2 squared so you can take mass 1 commonly outside so it becomes u1 square minus v1 square here m2 is taken out so it is v2 square minus u2 square and you can call this equation 3 and now if you divide equation 3 if you divide equation 3 By two, so I can get m1 into u1 squared minus v1 squared divided by m1 into u1 minus v1. I have taken the LHS of uh, equation three and equation two. Same manner, if I write RHS, m2 into v2 square minus u2 square. Divided by m2 into v2 minus u2, and see mass is straight away getting cancelled. And students see this is in the form of a squared minus b squared. So I can rewrite a plus b and a minus b. And what happens? See this a minus b terms getting cancelled with the denominator, and you have only a plus b term. So which will be u1 plus v1. Similarly, in the right side, a minus b term is getting cancelled. and you will have only a plus b term that is v2 plus u2 so we got v1 value is equal to v2 plus u2 and this u1 goes that side minus u1 so this is the final velocity of the first body and the same manner if you want v2 v2 is equal to u1 plus v1 this u2 goes that side minus u2 and you got the final velocities of uh, both the balls and if you apply this in equation 1 if you substitute this v1 value in equation 1 uh, you will get the final velocity similarly if you apply this v2 separately in this equation 1 you will get the final velocities thank you students